Welcome to Holistic Wellness 24-7. In today's video, we will explore to unleash inner strength using stoic secrets. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear roadmap to improve your well-being. So, let's get started on your journey to better health. Stoicism isn't just ancient philosophy, it's a timeless guide to overcoming the chaos of life with clarity and strength. Today, I'm diving into the seven stoic principles that have stood the test of time. These aren't just ideas, they're tools you can use to conquer stress, find balance and become your stronger self. And I'll show you how they've worked for me. From resilience to self-control, these principles aren't just for philosophers. They're for anyone ready to face life's challenges with confidence. The Stoics believed in living in harmony with the universe, in understanding and accepting the natural order of things. What does this mean for us today? It means recognizing that there are things we can control like our thoughts and actions and things we can't, like the weather, the economy, or what other people do. So often we waste precious energy resisting what we cannot change. We get angry at traffic, stressed out by deadlines, frustrated when things don't go our way. But the Stoics teach us that this resistance is futile. It's like trying to swim upstream against a powerful current. It's exhausting and ultimately pointless. Think of a mighty oak tree standing tall in a storm. It doesn't fight the wind, it bends with it. The tree's strength lies in its ability to adapt, to yield when necessary. And like that oak, we too can find strength in acceptance. This doesn't mean becoming passive or resigning ourselves to whatever life throws our way. Instead, it's about focusing our energy where it matters most, on what we can control. We can control our reactions to events, our choices, our mindset. Living in accordance with nature means aligning ourselves with the flow of life. It's about embracing the ups and downs, the good and the bad, knowing that everything is temporary and part of a larger interconnected whole. When we can accept what is, we free ourselves from unnecessary suffering. We create space for peace, wisdom and even joy, even amidst life's inevitable challenges. Remember, it's not about controlling the world around us, it's about mastering ourselves. Now, this next principle might sound a little counterintuitive at first, but trust me, it's a game changer. The Stoics practice something called negative visualization. I know it sounds a bit dark, right? But it's not about dwelling on the negative. It's about preparing for it. Think of it like a warrior mentally rehearsing for battle. They envision different scenarios, even unfavorable ones. So they're not caught off guard. In the same way, negative visualization helps us build mental resilience. We imagine potential setbacks, losses, or challenges we might face. Now, this isn't about becoming pessimistic or expecting the worst to happen. It's about mentally preparing ourselves so we're not blindsided when life throws us a curveball. By visualizing potential difficulties, we develop a plan of action, a sense of preparedness. Let's say you're worried about losing your job. Instead of letting that fear paralyze you, use negative visualization. Imagine that scenario. What would you do? How would you cope? By thinking through the possibilities beforehand, you're not just worrying, you're strategizing, you're taking control. And when you've already mentally prepared for a challenge, it becomes less daunting, less likely to throw you off balance when and if it does occur. This practice helps us appreciate what we have while also preparing us for the inevitable ups and downs of life. It's about facing our fears head on rather than letting them control us from the shadows. In the hustle and bustle of modern life, it's all too easy to get swept away by the current to live on autopilot, reacting to whatever comes our way. But the Stoics urge us to live with intention, to be conscious creators of our lives, not just passive passengers. Living intentionally means knowing your values, what truly matters to you, and aligning your actions with those values. It's about setting a course and then navigating life's waters with purpose, like a captain charting a course on the open sea. Think about it. If you don't know where you're going, any direction will do, right? But when you have a clear destination in mind, you can make choices that move you closer to your goals, even when faced with obstacles or distractions. This doesn't mean having it all figured out or adhering to a rigid plan. Life is full of surprises and sometimes we need to adjust our sails. But even in those moments of change, we can still act with intention, making choices that align with our values. Ask yourself, what kind of person do I want to be? What impact do I want to have on the world? 
Your answers to these questions will reveal your values, your guiding principles. Once you know your values, you can start making choices that reflect them. Each decision, no matter how small, becomes an opportunity to live with intention, to build the life you want, brick by brick, day by day. Remember, life isn't about finding yourself, it's about creating yourself. So set your course, adjust your sails when needed, and navigate with intention. Chapter 4. The Importance of Self-Reflection In our fast-paced world, it's easy to get caught up in the daily grind, to constantly be doing without taking the time to just be. But the Stoics understood the importance of self-reflection, of taking the time to look inward and examine our thoughts, actions and beliefs. Think of it like tending a garden. You wouldn't just scatter seeds randomly and hope for the best, would you? No, you'd prepare the soil, plant carefully, water regularly, and pull out any weeds that threaten to choke the growth of your plants. Self-reflection is the same. It's about cultivating our inner world with as much care and attention as we give to our external achievements. It's about taking the time to understand ourselves better, our strengths, weaknesses, motivations, and values. The ancient Greek philosopher Socrates famously said, the unexamined life is not worth living. His words ring true even today. Without self-reflection, we're like ships sailing without a rudder, tossed about by the winds of circumstance. So how do we practice self-reflection? It can be as simple as taking a few minutes each day to journal, meditate, or simply sit in quiet contemplation. Ask yourself, what went well today? What could I have done better? What am I grateful for? By regularly examining our thoughts and actions, we gain valuable insights into ourselves. We identify patterns, recognize areas for improvement, and align our behavior with our values. Chapter 5. Mastering Your Emotions We've all been there, hijacked by our emotions, swept away by anger, fear, or anxiety. It's easy to feel like we're at the mercy of these feelings, powerless to resist their pull. But the Stoics teach us that we're not slaves to our emotions. We have the power to choose our responses. One of the core principles of Stoicism is the idea that events themselves are neutral. It's our judgments and interpretations that color them with emotion. Think about it. Two people can experience the same event, but their reactions can be vastly different. One person might see a setback as a disaster, while another sees it as an opportunity for growth. The difference lies in their perception, their mindset, and the good news is our mindset is something we can control. Stoicism isn't about suppressing or denying our emotions. It's about understanding them, mastering them, so they don't master us. It's about cultivating a sense of inner peace and tranquility that can weather any storm. So how do we do that? One powerful technique is to practice cognitive reframing. When you're faced with a challenging situation, ask yourself, is there another way to look at this? Can I find a more helpful perspective? For example, instead of seeing a traffic jam as a frustrating inconvenience, try reframing it as an opportunity to practice patience, to listen to a podcast, or simply to enjoy a few moments of solitude. Remember, you always have a choice in how you respond to any given situation. You can choose to react with anger, fear, or resentment, or you can choose to respond with calmness, courage, and wisdom. Chapter 6. The Importance of Action In the words of the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius, waste no more time arguing what a good man should be. Be one. Stoicism is not just a philosophy to be pondered, it's a set of principles to be lived, to be put into action. Knowledge without action is like a seed that's never planted. It has the potential for growth, but it will never bear fruit. The Stoics understood that true wisdom lies not just in knowing what is right, but in doing what is right, consistently and courageously. Think of it like learning a new skill, like playing a musical instrument. You can read all the books and watch all the tutorials in the world, but until you pick up that instrument and start practicing, you'll never make beautiful music. The same is true for living a stoic life. It's not enough to simply understand the principles. We must put them into practice, day in and day out, even when it's hard, even when we don't feel like it. Start small. Choose one stoic principle that resonates with you and commit to incorporating it into your life. Maybe it's practicing mindfulness for a few minutes each day or focusing on what you can control or choosing to respond to challenges with calmness rather than reactivity. The key is consistency. Just like small, consistent actions over time can yield incredible physical fitness, so too can small, consistent acts of virtue lead to a life of meaning, purpose and resilience. Chapter 7 Embrace the present moment. Our minds are expert time travelers, constantly replaying past events or worrying about the future. 
But the Stoics remind us that the only moment we truly have is the present moment. The past is gone, the future is uncertain, but the present is where life is happening right now. Worrying about the past is like carrying a heavy backpack full of regrets, mistakes and missed opportunities. It weighs us down, preventing us from fully experiencing the joy and beauty of the present. And agonizing over the future is like staring at a map instead of enjoying the scenery on our journey. We get so caught up in planning and predicting that we miss out on the richness and spontaneity of life as it unfolds. The Stoics taught that true peace and happiness are found in embracing the present moment, in fully experiencing whatever it is we're doing without judgment or distraction. One powerful practice for cultivating present moment awareness is mindfulness. Mindfulness is simply paying attention to the present moment without judgment. It's about noticing our thoughts, feelings and sensations without getting swept away by them. You can practice mindfulness anywhere, anytime. Try focusing on your breath, noticing the rise and fall of your chest as you inhale and exhale. Or bring your attention to your senses, the sights, sounds, smells and sensations around you. When your mind wanders, as it inevitably will, gently guide it back to the present moment. Don't judge yourself for getting distracted, simply acknowledge it and return your attention to the now. Remember, the present moment is a gift, that's why it's called the present. So, let's savour it, embrace it and live it to the fullest. Zoutro unleash your inner stoic. You have the power to take control of your life and emotions. These seven stoic secrets are your key to building unshakable resilience, inner peace and true strength. But don't just take my word for it. Put them into action and see the difference for yourself. What's your favorite stoic principle? Share it in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If this video inspired you, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Let's keep growing together. Remember, you are stronger than you think. Stay virtuous, stay present, and I'll see you in the next video.